It's time to awaken. What's up, boys and girls, and welcome back to ZTV. I am your host, Pastor Jonathan, and I cannot believe how close Summer X is. Do me a favor, breathe through your nose. Mm, can you smell Summer X? It smells good. It's coming at you. If you're excited, I want you to say, oh, ho, 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 yeah. Oh, man, that was, that, was, that was great. Now, this month on ZTV, of course, we've been talking about God's plan, how it's big, how it's great, how our minds can't even comprehend the amazing plan that God has for us. But I have a question for you. And that question is, have you ever had a really big plan of your own? Now, this may be something you worked on together with some friends, or it could be something you just locked yourself in your room and, and, and worked on and put some details and thought into it. Whatever that plan was, raise your hand if you ever came up with something like that. Okay, good. Well, I'm about to share with you a little plan I had as a kid. A little plan called Jonathan's Water Park. Let me show you. Jonathan's Water Park is a multi-million dollar industry where people would come from all over the world to come see my penguins, which I got right over here by an igloo. They would see my palm trees, oh, which is right next to the lazy river. Grab yourself an inner tube. You can pee in there if you want to. There's chlorine. Oh, and then you can come over and look at my dolphin sharks because they are uh, specifically bred for my park. By the way, I have a roller coaster that will make you throw up, but then you can come right over here and see the killer whale before stepping up these steps, jumping off the cliff, and enjoying your time at the lemonade stand. Yes, yes, boys and girls, I thought of everything. It was the perfect plan. But actually, there was a couple. Uh, there was a couple holes in the plan. All right. So number one, uh, I did not own any penguins or whales or dolphin shark hybrids. Uh, number two, I had one hose and one slide, and there wasn't too much water coming out of that hose. And number three, uh, none of the kids in my neighborhood wanted to come to my backyard where the uh, water park was. So um, looked great on paper, looked really nice with all these markers, but ultimately my, my plan fell apart a little bit. Boys and girls, have you ever had a plan like that? A plan that was so perfect in your head, maybe it was even perfect on paper, but in real life, it didn't really work out. Raise your hand. Yeah, me too. I know the feeling, but don't worry. You're not alone. Because boys and girls, everybody's had plans like that. As a matter of fact, the Bible says that there are many, 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 many plans in our hearts. And so with all those plans, not every single one of them is gonna always work out. But the Bible is amazing because it does promise that there is one plan that will always work, and that's God's plan. Remember our Bible table verse? It says that he knows the plans he has for you, and they're plans for good and for a future and a hope. And guys, that to me is a great promise. If only we'll have the courage to discover that plan.